Hello, good morning. Today I will be discussing the content of the first module of the course Science, Technology, and Society. The title of the first module is Connections, Science, and Technology for the Advancement of Society. I am Mr. Nico Lorenz Pilosi, the course instructor of STS. Okay, so the, the main topic of or the main concern of this subject is social scientific issues. When we say social scientific issues, these are the issues in the society that can be explained by scientific and technological knowledge. Example of these issues are the NCOV or the 2019 NCOV and COVID-19, global warming, climate change, food security. So these are the common terms that we encounter nowadays. They are East in the society and they are there are scientific explanations for each social scientific issues. But for the first module, the main objectives are as follows. At the end of this lesson, the students are expected to one discuss the interaction between science and technology and society throughout history and discuss how scientific and technological knowledge develop. In the first module, I have given you these the seven videos that you're going to watch and you're going to answer the guide questions per video. So in this discussion, I will just mention some in discoveries or technology that were mentioned from this video. In the first video, we discuss here the history of technology, the scientific inventions and discovery from the ancient period to 19th century. For this video, it compared the two or it compared the technology from the past and the present. In this video, it mentioned the top 10 most important discoveries while in this video in this tour video it discussed here the scientific revolutions in this video the industry 4.0 and in this video it compared bill gates and steve jobs so by accessing the link provided you can watch these clips and answer the following guide questions okay in this subject we will be discussing mainly the interaction of these three main content may or main terms in this subject the science technology and society when you say science it's a bod systematized body of knowledge that explains natural phenomena so it consists of laws concepts and ideas or theories and the application of its laws, concepts, or ideas, or theories is what we call technology. So technology is the use or application of scientific knowledge for a specific purpose or goal. So if you're going to check, science informs technology. So because you can only see the application of science once it is applied in technology. For example, the technology is COVID-19, the COVID-19 vaccine. The role of the society, it gives or it determines what is the need or what is needed in the society, what technology should exist or what technology should be developed. And this technology is anchored with the following scientific concepts. We have immune system, antigen antibody, cellular structure, biochemistry of the cell. So you can see now the interaction of the three main terms. The science is the application. For this example, the application of COVID-19 vaccine and these are the concepts behind it. And this COVID-19 vaccine is highly needed by the society, especially this 2020 or nowadays. Okay, so these are the three interrelated terms in this subject. And science, it seeks to
to improve the society and society benefits from the technology and technology makes our life easier because it provides conveniences now these are the terms and these are the illustrations that were mentioned in your video so based on the instruction they're going to give the scientific concepts behind it and the societal contribution of the following technologies the first product is anesthesia and anesthetics so the societal needs of this technology is to alleviate the pain during medical surgical and dental operations when we say alleviate to lessen the pain during medical surgical and dental operation the scientific concept behind this we have the human body system we mentioned that nervous circulatory muscular and of course the nerve impulses the local anesthetics blocks the nerve that connects a particular body part or region to the brain so for example you have operations along your arm so the doctor might inject uh, local anesthetic uh, local anesthetics to block the nerves that connect your arm to the brain so you will not feel the procedure whether it's for medical operations or for any type of operations next penicillin so penicillin was discovered during world war II. so based on this illustration that's why i put soldiers here it was discovered during the world war II because soldiers there died not just because of bullets or gun but because of the infections when they are hit with bullets so they got microbial infection they didn't just die because of the bullets but because of microbial infection so this penicillin was derived from the fungus known as penicillium notatum because in the society there was increase in death rate because of microbial infections so the scientific concept behind this penicillin kills bacteria by inhibiting cell wall synthesis and in activating bacterial proteins thus infection is least possible so i put least because there there might be there might be infections however it is minimized because you apply penicillin next microscope microscope the societal needs societal needs or second contribution of this technology is to correct the urban needs we filipino with no different uh, urban legend urban needs so this is probably proof that there are actually microbial infections that's why that's why people get disease or get the diseases so the scientific concept behind this we have diseases that are caused by microbes when we say microbes these are the organisms that can be seen by naked eyes so it falsify falsifies the urban meats such as the kulam barang or bulo so it's been disputed is the uh, refute by this technology so now on your essential question so I give this I gave this question so that when you are answering your module you will still be able to manage or you will still be able to trace what you have learned already on the first essential question China and America are two of the leading countries which have advanced technological products through sciences these two different and isolated countries have different cultures, languages, and perspectives. Question, do they have the same science? Okay, the answer is yes, they have the same science as long as they follow the same scientific methods. And to recall the steps on the scientific method, these are as follows. Stating the problem, gathering the 
information, stating the hypothesis or your educational guess, conducting an experiment, recording and analyzing the results, formulating conclusion and recommendations. Number two, do they have two or do you consider this bodies of knowledge science? Why? The answer is no, they are not body of they are not considered as bodies of knowledge because this one, the first illustration, this is astrology. They give predictions out of patterns of stars. We call them a zodiac sign. They associate certain behavior or they predict a particular event that might happen based on the pattern of the stars. However, they are not considered a science because some elements of scientific methods are missing, specifically the conduct of experiment. For alchemy, the same thing. When we say alchemy, they have a belief or principle that everything can be converted into gold. However, now it is being reviewed because gold is a distinct element. It has atomic mass, it has own atomic weight, it has own property that is only that are only exclusive to gold. The third picture, the acupuncture, they are not considered as science because uh, the practice of acupuncture they break some points of your body and they associate it to a certain part of your body which is not actually true because in modern medicine if a certain organ has disease or disorder you have to target a specific organ not the point that they are using some points of your body to associate to, uh, to associate these points to, part, to different parts of your body. However, even though they are not considered science, we call them as pseudoscience. Pseudo means false because they pretend or they, they give their explanation in a scientific way. However, some elements of scientific methods are missing. For astrology, the counterpart of that, the actual or real science is astronomy. For uh, alchemy, the actual or the real science counterpart of that is chemistry. For acupuncture, maybe the most related is medicine. So those are the counterparts of that can be considered as science. Astronomy, chemistry, and medicine. Again, astronomy, the counterpart dito. Alchemy, the counterpart of uh, chemistry, the out counterpart of alchemy, the actual science. Acupuncture, the counterpart of that is medicine. Now, fingerprints, another technology. Societal need, we have, aside from signature, fingerprint was used as personal identification. Significant evidence in the crime scene and it revolutionized the justice system. Scientific concepts behind it. So, fingerprints are made up of an arrangement of ridges called friction ridges. Each ridge contains pores which are attached to sweat glands and skin. So, I'll make it fast because I only need, I only need 20 minutes. Okay, now, this discovery, the heliocentric model. First, it is believed that Earth is the center of the universe. We have the Ptolemy geocentric model. This is Ptolemy. He believed that the Earth is the center of the universe. But it has been revolutionized to heliocentric model by Nicolas Copernicus, where in he believed that the Sun is actually the center of the solar system. So we have here Galileo Galilei when he verified actually that the sun is actually the center of the solar system. So this the societal, the societal issue behind this we have the religion versus science because Claudius Ptolemy uh, has influence because 
he is one of he is a member of a religious group before or that time. So during the Nicolaus Copernicus time, if you have disobeyed or if you have ideas against what the religious group believe, you might be considered as any of the religious group. So that's one of the most painful events events that happen in science. However, it has been considered as paradigm shift as we believe, as we change our belief from old knowledge to new knowledge as new evidence or pieces of evidence surface. Electricity, we know that. So IR 1.0 is the time of steam engine, industrial revolution. IR 2.0, we have the electrification when electricity has been discovered. We know this already that current as flow of surges, appliances works when there is supply of electricity, batteries a storage of electric current. Okay, the next part will be the comparison of the following technology or technological products. We have diskets. We have USB, or we have flash drive, we have hard disk or hard drive, we have cloud storage. One well, of these our modern way of sharing our data. So this technology technological products appear because of the problems on storage for computer outputs. And the scientific concept behind this we have programming and innovations on materials for memory storage. Next one, we have the evolution of cell phone. So the demand we need a portable, we consider portability, accessibility, and design. The scientific concept behind this, we have the material science, improvement of signals, and ways of communication. Now, everything has been enclosed or compressed to cell phone before we are using different devices or equipment if you want to do certain activities. Now, the cell phone itself can do it all for you. For calendar, if you want to watch movies, for mail, you can use email, calculator, alarm clock, uh, photo album. Now, we have different definition now of photo album. We have digital album. If you want to listen to music, you can use your YouTube account or you can use your iTunes account or the built-in music in your phone. We also have Notepad. Now, the way we deliver our lessons will be face-to-face and now we have virtual classes. It is because of accessibility, industry-oriented education, we want to train our students, we want to align their skills based on the need of the industry. Disruption proof, because the face-to-face classes, we know that it's very prone to disruption such as natural calamities and holidays. So now, the scientific concept behind this, we improve our material, material to use uh, to use or to invent se- invent several gadgets, we improve our ways of signals. Before we only have 3G, 4G, and now we have 5G. We also improve our ways of communication. And in terms of medicine, so be- now the societal demands we have medicine for specific disease. Before tuberculosis and HIV or AIDS, HIV and AIDS are life sentence diseases. Now we have PB dots for tuberculosis, and now we have antiretroviral drugs for HIV to lessen the uh, particle of HIV or the virus of of HIV so that it will not develop into AIDS. So in the sooner in sooner lectures I'll go deeper on AIDS and HIV. Maybe on module number five. 
So the scientific concept behind this will discover medicines or therapy for several diseases. So now I have given you this. So I let you to identify based on your personal experience how science and technology help you in the following aspects. So in your module, I let you to answer those questions. So this is for assessment. I give you your reflection journal at the end of the at the end of every module. So these are the questions. What have we learned from the development of science discoveries in our history? In your own experience, how do you use science and technology in your daily living in your community? How can we assure that the concepts of sustainable development and environmental protection are integrated in our progressive developments as individual and as society? Paradigm shift or change of perspectives and beliefs has been observed in the history of science. As a student of SDS, how will you reduce this conflict between the two different schools of thoughts? Explain and provide your own example. What must be the role of universities like PNU in the development of science and technology for its sustainable community? And this is your assignment. I'd like you to create a two-minute a video presentation that will show technology in your community. I'd like you to list down the different concepts applied in the development of that technology. And I'd like to also provide the detailed contributions of your product that you have chosen. And you will explain that via your video presentation. So I will be creating a Facebook thread so that there will be no repetition of products in our class. So this is the format. Place your picture here, the name of the product, the description, the scientific concept behind it, and the, the side of contribution of this technology. So that's all. By the way, I am Mr. Nicole Lorenz Pilosin. I am a course instructor in SDS. Thank you.